Welcome back to another episode of G Travels Food Adventures. I'm in Seville and I cannot wait to see what this city has to offer. It is the tapas capital of Spain and possibly even the world. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and let's get into the video. So I've come to this cool tapas bar called Ponte Guita Romero and I've ordered a prawn salad and I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. I think it's called Albondigas, which is I think a meatball. I could be led very much astray, but we'll see when it gets here. So first up I have my prawn salad. I think it's like a potato salad with prawns in it. So Mm. That's a potato salad. I'm going to hear it's one of my prawns. Ooh. Yeah. That was fantastic. These prawns have so much flavor. More than I was expecting considering it's like smothered in mayonnaise. Um, but this is delicious. And I'll see you guys when I get my hopefully meatballs. The thing I also love about tapas here in Seville is that you can actually do some bar crops, bar hop. So you just get one thing at like every single bar rather than sitting down and just ordering like 10 things. It's better just to try one or two dishes in every location so that you get a real feel of what tapas is like across the city. Okay, so I've got my albondigas, which is a meatball. I had to look up what it actually is. It's a cuttlefish meatball, so not like a beef or pork like I was expecting, but it's a cuttlefish, so that's exciting. And it's in like this, um, this one's in, uh, it says Don Churros, but it doesn't look like obviously churros, but it's a, um, like a red, red sauce, so um, let's give it a go. Mm. Wow. Mm. The um, meatball is very soft and like has a very strong fishy flavor, but this sauce, mm, that's where all the flavor is. That packs a punch, it's really good. It comes with some chippies too, so. They're soft chippies, they're not, they're not crunchy and crispy, but mm, the meatballs are delicious and I'll see you at the next location. inside Bodega Santa Cruz and it is bustling despite it being like 4 p.m. which is siesta time here in Spain. Um, I've ordered a jamón to try, um, just a little bit of charcuterie as a tapas plate and I am so excited because jamón and prosciutto are my two favorite meats like of all time. I love it so much so I can't wait to try it. So for those who don't know, jamón is a type of dry cured ham, so it is pork. Um, so if you're vegetarian, do not order it, um, but it is delicious. It, it's a very salty, um, it's a lot drier than something like a prosciutto is, so it's often like a little bit more uh, meaty and chewier. Um, and yeah, it's absolutely delicious. If you ever come to Spain, it is definitely a staple here. Um, it's one of uh, the meats that is produced from here. Yeah. It is such a cool vibe in here. All of the menu is written on the board in Spanish, but they do have a separate menu that uh, does have a little bit of an English translation on it. Not that I needed it because I knew what I was getting, but if you do come to the area, there is an English menu version that's not on the board, but you can have that access. 
Another thing, another thing, another thing here in Spain is do not be afraid to be a little bit pushy. Um, naturally, I just sit outside waiting for someone to seat me. Uh, that is not how it works here. You need to just walk straight in, and straight to the bar confidently, order what you want, and then find a seat. Um, or just go and sit down because the waiting at the front, they just kind of walk past you as if you don't know that you want to be there. So definitely don't wait around. So my jamón has arrived and it looks really good. They've salted it, which um, is surprising because it's already a fairly salty meat, but it just comes with like a few little shaved pieces. Wow. Mm. That is some of the best jamón I've ever eaten in my life. Mm. It's less fatty than the ones that you normally buy, which I love. And it's cut a little bit thicker so there's a bit more texture to it. Mm. But I'm going to smash this in like two seconds and I'll see you guys at the next location. So I'm here in the real Alcazar Palace here in Seville, just having a quick break from all of the tapas bars. Um, it is stunning. If you ever come to Seville, definitely get a chance to come and check it out. And I mean, look at the architecture here, guys. It's amazing. The next place we are going to is La Bruntilda. It is one that you see on all of the blogs, on all of the recommendations. So it's there for good reason. So I have to go check it out. Apparently their patatas bravas are meant to be very good. And who doesn't love a good potato, am I right? So I will definitely be getting that. And I will see you there. So there is a huge lineup here at La Brunilda uh, before it's even open. So I guess that must be a good sign. But fingers crossed I get in because I really want to try the patatas bravas here. I've heard really good things about it. So oh, hopefully I can get in. So they were completely booked out if so I didn't get in, which is kind of a bummer. But I mean, I didn't know about the place until I got here this afternoon. But where I'm going now is called La Axotea. Uh, so hopefully I can get in there, but we'll just have to see what my luck is going to be. Azotea had a space because I've come relatively early by like early by uh, Spanish time um, and turns out it's actually a Michelin starred restaurant so that's kind of cool that I'm doing two Michelin starred restaurants in one week like that just like never I just never thought that would happen in my life so um, that is super exciting and I cannot wait the menus in Spanish so I have no idea what I'll be ordering but I will uh, keep it posted so it's been over 12 minutes now and I think I'm going to duck out the front and just see what the go is um, and whether I can at least get a drink or something and a menu to have a look at because I still haven't even received a menu, no one's come to check on me so I think I'm going to probably have to duck my head out and, and see what the go is. I definitely think they've forgotten that I'm here. So they definitely forgot me but they have um, brought me a drink so I got a sangria and my goodness. Look at the size of it. It is as big as my head. Um, I think it's very beautiful. I love the two tiers. Oh, these are eye shards, so that's kind of cool. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Um, mm, let's give this a try. I don't know. I'll like, mix it in a little bit. Let's uh, try this. Oh. That is the best angry that I've had here. So that in itself makes up the fact that I forgot that I was here. Um, and I think I'm going to order, it's an Iberian pork cheek in a red wine sauce with a goat's cheese gratin. 
and a puree of some description. A potato puree, so that sounds delicious. Everything here in the South of Spain is so cheap. I'm in a Michelin starred restaurant with a main meal and it's 15 euros. How wild is that? You couldn't even get like a freaking sandwich for $15 in Australia, so can't wait to see what it comes out as. They brought me out some bread. Um, there, it's a bit denser than regular, but I think this one's just like a like a whole wheat bread. Mm. That's like a whole wheat bread. There's another one here that I want to try. That is like, whoa, really aerated. It looks like a multi-grain. Um, first, I thought it was a sweet bread, but I don't think it's a sweet bread. Mm. Yeah, like a multi-grain bread, but like that. Crust is so good. Surprisingly, it's nice to have a bit of a change from white bread. Um, I've eaten just white bread for the last like couple of months, so and normally at home I would have either a sourdough or like a multi-grain bread. So it's really nice to have fresh multi-grain bread. So um, I think that's going to pair very nicely with my meal. Wow, this looks and smells phenomenal so I've got a little bit of everything I've got some of the pork cheek I've got some potato and I've got a little bit of what I believe might be my goat's cheese gratin it looks a bit like a quenelle um, so let's take a little bite and see wow mm -hmm. it's got a very strong porky flavor which I love that red wine sauce is so good. I'm going to try some on its own. Mm. They've taken a really long time to cook that. It's very rich and very deep in flavour. The potatoes are more like a homestyle potato. Um, they are very good. Um, they're definitely very well seasoned. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to keep digging in and really enjoying this. And now, Let's try some of just the goat cheese on its own. So, ooh, mm, yeah. On its own, that goat cheese is very strong. I love goat cheese, that's great. But when you mix it with everything, it's not that strong. So it just kind of like ties it all together and gives it that kind of like rich umami flavor that it really needs. So I'm gonna keep enjoying this and I'll see you guys at the next location. at Bar Comercio and I have ordered my churros con chocolate and it just arrived which is very exciting and look at this it is phenomenal I mean I haven't tried it yet but just looking at it looks amazing it is um, they're not covered in sugar which is what they're usually like in Australia so that's something a bit different um, but I guess it's with chocolate instead so um, let's let's give this a taste Oh my god. Mm. That is insane. It is so much lighter and fluffier than I ever expected it to be. And with the chocolate, it is paired perfectly. If you ever come to Seville, you 100% have to come here for dessert. It is literally the best dessert. I've had here in Spain by far. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy this massive plate and I'll see you guys a little bit later. So it's been a 
phenomenal night here in Seville going on a little tapas tour. I am absolutely stuffed like I cannot move and I am very much ready for bed. Next up I will be heading to some of the smaller Andalusian towns um, specifically Cadiz tomorrow so uh, I'm not too sure whether I'll be filming there or not um, but I'll definitely be making an overall Andalusian video so thank you so much for watching please hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.